we will never stop wondering if life can be found on other planets outside of Earth. As far as our solar system is concerned, Earth looks to be the only habitable planet as it carries all of the elements that organisms need to thrive. But is this true? What about Uranus? Let's find out. So, is Uranus habitable? Although the planet still holds many mysteries, it doesn't look like Uranus is habitable, as it's known as a gas giant, and its atmospheric conditions are far too harsh for life, as we know it, to exist. Overall, Uranus's environment is far too extreme and volatile for life to exist. Besides, there's no solid ground or elements that al allow life to flourish. While it may be beautiful, Uranus is a planet of many extremes and organisms simply wouldn't be able to form due to the many different atmospheric conditions. The planet is mainly composed of methane, ammonia and water. All of this is covered by the planet's atmosphere, which is primarily a mix of helium and hydrogen. You also have to take into consideration that the planet's temperatures are extremely cold, residing around minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. Here on Earth, we have the perfect recipe for all kinds of life forms to exist, but this isn't the case with any other planet in our solar system, Uranus included. Some are harsher than others, and considering Uranus's distance from the Sun, there's not a lot available for organisms to call it home. Nevertheless, scientists continue to wonder what's possible and what it might take to exist within such a planet. Getting to Uranus is a whole other story, as the planet is 1.8 billion miles away. And even with our most modern technology, taking a trip out to Uranus to gather first-hand research isn't feasible right now. From Earth, we have plenty of technology that helps experts find habitable planets, and Uranus isn't one of them. It's become widely known that Proxima b is the closest and most Earth-like planet, but our discoveries within our own solar system will continue. And that isn't to say Uranus could never be habitable. With the right changes in elements and atmospheric conditions, humans and other life forms could potentially exist there. Although this may be a hypothetical idea, the possibilities within the universe are pretty much endless. From microorganisms to human and animal life, Uranus would have to have some very specific conditions to be habitable. This could be basic elements, substantial water and land, of course, to thrive. Now, if Uranus's atmospheric pressure and other harsh conditions weren't present, we might be able to look at it from a different perspective. And with the help of hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and nitrogen, life could very well be possible on a planet. Now, even if this did become a reality, it would require the planet to go through an immense amount of change, which would likely take mil millions, if not billions of years. And all of the data points stack up against life being possible on Uranus. But this won't stop us from looking for any potential possibility. Outside what we've already discussed, the fact that Uranus is a gas planet is one of the biggest issues. There's just no solid ground for life to exist, and if any living organism were to thrive on Uranus, it would have to be a free-floating org organism of some sort. Well, this is an exciting thought, as it could mean that microscopic life actually could exist on the planet, at least some day. If this was the case, it would also mean that the organism is one of the most resilient that we've ever encountered. From immensely cold temperatures to wind speeds that range from 90 to 360 miles per hour, there isn't anything we know of on Earth that could exist within Uranus's atmosphere. Scientists have played with the idea of floating platforms within gaseous planets, or simply having a surface condition that human, humans could use to survive. And there are some good points with these ideas, but the logistics of even achieving them would, be, would come with a great amount of risk. Regardless, if Uranus contained the necessary elements of life as we know it, scientists would explore the possibilities the planet would have to offer. It may be an interesting thought, but it isn't likely that this would ever be possible, as Uranus has been gaseous with violent atmospheric conditions for as long as we've known it. Now, the planet was discovered back in 1781, and its conditions haven't changed much since then, so many people don't expect it to change in any time soon.
Now, although Uranus isn't currently habitable and doesn't look to be in the near future, this has driven scientists to explore the variable that Uranus might have been habitable in the distant past. In a similar fashion to the rest of our solar system, Uranus was formed around 4.5 billion years ago, which means the planet has gone through numerous changes over these years. Scientists currently consider the chance that Uranus was habitable at one point in time, but most feel it's highly unlikely that it was ever a possibility. Now, as we've discussed, the atmospheric conditions and elements of the planet may have changed over time, but the fact that it has always been a gas planet puts a damper on the idea of habitation. Planets that have a solid surface are generally better candidates for potential habitation, but gas planets are usually guaranteed to never be habitable. If, for any reason, the planet's physical characteristics change, this would require a rare and relatively catastrophic cosmic event. You also have to consider that we may not know the full story of Uranus's history and it could harbour microorganisms we haven't yet discovered. That's what makes the universe so exciting to research, as it proves us wrong time and time again. Yet, we can only come to the conclusions we're looking for by exploring every possible vari variable that we currently have. On Earth, life as we know it wouldn't exist on Uranus, but there could be other life forms that thrive in such an environment. And with the help of satellites and potentially a risky space mission, we can look deeper into what Uranus has to offer. But for now, the consensus is that the gas giant was and never has been habitable at any point in history. We know a lot more about the planets that are closer to us, and there are a few limitations to what we can explore about a planet like Uranus. This is mainly due to its size, distance, and its physical characteristics. However, scientists are always dedicated to learning as much as they possibly can, and we're bound to come across new findings about the planet as the years go by, and as technology improves. But at this time, Uranus isn't a planet we'll be looking to visit, and experts are pretty confident that the gas planet hasn't changed much ever since its creation. It will be interesting to see how our data on the planet changes over time, as there are too many elements at play for the planet to remain the same forever. Now, Uranus may not have been habitable in the past, present, or even the future, but we still love the beauty and mystery it has to offer to our curious minds. Habitation in Uranus may not be possible, but it has made many scientists and astronomy experts wonder if its moons are another story. In many ways, Uranus's moons feature a lot of the same elements as the gas giant itself. Due to this, it isn't likely that humans or other known life forms would be able to exist on any of Uranus's moons. Humans would only be able to exist on one of Uranus's moons if we were able to live among the vast amounts of methane and ammonia that they likely contain. Currently, this isn't a feasible thought, even with the help of technology. From every angle, Uranus and its moons do not seem too friendly to living organisms. Now, experts aren't too worried about this, as Uranus was never a top prospect for terraforming or anything of that nature, but we, have to, we do have to wonder what may be possible. Now, this has already been covered in this video, but it's a question that many of you ask, and that is, can you walk on Uranus? Well, you cannot walk on Uranus, as it does not have a solid surface. Instead, the surface is comprised of swirling liquids, so you would essentially fall through it. That is, of course, if you could make it through the harsh atmospheric conditions that surround the planet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. I've got plenty of other videos on my channel, so if you head over there, then you can go and watch them. Uh, and do consider hitting the bell uh, button to be notified of when I release new videos just like this. And if you want to head over to my website, it's astronomyscope.com. I've got plenty of written content. And if you're looking to get into astronomy, it's a fantastic place to go.